Hello, this is Brian, a technical writer at cPanel. I'm going to show you how to create a sub-account user in cPanel's user manager interface. In cPanel and WHM version 54, we added the user manager interface. The user manager interface allows you to create and manage sub-account users. You may ask yourself, why would I want a sub-account user? Our development team created sub-account users to streamline the username and password for a single user to access multiple cPanel services. You can selectively configure each service to access your email, FTP, and web disk services. Let's get started by logging into cPanel. Here we see the cPanel home interface. To access the user manager interface, you can use two methods. You can either click on the icon in the sidebar here or scroll down to the preferences section and click the user manager icon. The user manager interface will appear. Let's go ahead and add a new sub account. At the top right of the interface, click add user. Now that we are in the add user interface, we can enter the sub account users information. In the full name text box, we can add the user's name. The name we enter helps us identify who owns the sub-account. I'll enter John Smith. Next, we enter the sub-account's username and select the domain. In this case, I'll enter the username John and use the menu to select the example.com domain. If your cPanel account includes multiple domains, your other domains will appear in this menu. Remember, when a sub-account user accesses any cPanel services, it uses the full username, which includes the domain. In this demonstration, the full username is john at example.com. cPanel uses the contact email address to send the sub-account user notifications and password reset requests. We must enter an email address that is not hosted on our cPanel account. I'll enter John Smith at cPanel.tld. Under security information, you can decide if you want to set the subaccount user's password or, if you wish, allow the subaccount user to set their own password. If you decide to allow the subaccount user to set their own password, the user will receive an invitation email to the subaccount's contact email address. The email will direct the subaccount user to the cPanel invitation interface to set their own password. I'll select Set the user's password and click Generate to create a secure password. When you click Generate, the system automatically generates a secure password. If you have specific requirements for a password, you can adjust the password generator's settings by clicking the down arrow next to the Generate button. Whether you decide to use the Generate button or enter a password that you choose, you must re-enter the password in the Confirm Password text box. The password strength bar helps you identify the security strength of your password. Remember, you should always choose a secure password for all of your cPanel logins. Now we will select which services the subaccount user can access. Email creates an email address for the subaccount. FTP allows the subaccount to access FTP services for the cPanel account. And WebDisk allows the subaccount to access WebDisk services for the cPanel account. If you wish to limit the user's quota or permissions for these services, you can select the limitations that you prefer. You could also create a sub-account without any enabled services. If you would like to learn more about these services, read our documentation. I'll enable each service. If you need to create additional sub-accounts, you can click Create and Add Another User, and the system will create the sub-account and reset the Add User interface. For now, I want to create a single sub-account, so I'll click Create. The user manager interface will appear, and we see that cPanel created the John sub-account user and enabled our selected services. The John sub-account can access email, FTP, and WebDisk services with the username john at example.com. If you would like more information about cPanel's user manager interface, read our documentation.
For more information about cPanel, the web hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.com or follow cPanel on Twitter.